So good morning and welcome to Bakewell. So we are in the heart of the Peak District right now in the, the Bakewell's home to the Bakewell Pudding. Which you may be sampling some later. Definitely. Well, in you, about 10 minutes. Yeah. So it's not actually made by Mr. Kipling. No. Well, it is, but it's not invented by Mr. Kipling. No, they're Bakewell tarts. Yeah. Like, so yeah, uh, there's a difference, and we'll, we'll show you the difference. Well, we'll show you the difference yeah. and where they were originally yeah. invented, so to speak. So we have been to Bakewell many, many times, and so we're just thankful to know that it's a lovely day, oh, yeah. and we can go and explore a little bit. Yeah. So this is where we're eating. So this is the old original Bakewell pudding shop. So you eat upstairs and then downstairs is like a shop and a bakery. <laughs> oh, Harry Rikers. So this is the menu. So this one here is the bacon pudding. You meant to serve that warm, and then that one. This one is the bacon tart. So that's the one that most people know. And obviously, you have that cold. And then here's a bit of a history. Still, no one knows the actual recipe for the bacon pudding. Awesome. Here's the menu. So we do do breakfast, lunch, sandwiches. Obviously, main. And then the other side, they have afternoon tea. So to drink, I've gone for a bakewell pudding gin, and it's actually made here. It's amazing. You like it, so don't you? It's nice. So Robert's gone for plamens. How nice does that look? Amazing, don't it? And he doesn't like Stilton, so he swapped one of the Stilton for another extra cheddar. Yes. And then mine, I didn't expect to come with chips, so I've had the pork pork sandwich with apple and cocoon. Good luck. At the side of that sandwich. <laughs> Robert's jealous. Yeah, I am. So I swap. No. Oh, then I've got pork pie. No. Cheese. Don't like cheese. <laughs> so we had to make green for bacon pudding, so we've had one to share. This is £6. So. You can have it with cream, custard or ice cream. And then it's like got a jam in the bottom. And then it's what kind of it's like um do you have a treacle tart? It's yes. like about it on top. What's it called? It's not brand Japan. It is, it's like brand it? Japan. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Infamous bakewell pudding. So we do have a shop too, in the bakewell pudding shop, <laughs> surprisingly. See if you can find that gin. Hmm. Just saying how nice these would be for Christmas presents. And they're not expensive either. Like this one here. £35, which I think could make a really nice gift. Here's a gin, it was hiding. £36. It's amazing though. Is that? a different company that do one. Mm. Mm. So these are some of the bits they sell. Look how good these look. It's amazing. It smells so good as well. Some cakes. So if you don't want to eat in the cafe, they also do takeaway. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh hi. <laughs> we, we had to buy one to take, take home, home to have later. You see inside. So, oh, it's in another bag. Uh, yeah, because it's they're so they're quite greasy. Greasy. So what we paid for the small one was six pounds in the cafe and this was five ninety five, so obviously Yeah. Oh look at that. <laughs> it's like I now need to wash my triple hands the size. <laughs> 
I absolutely love Bakewell. And I've just said to Robert, I think the best Thank thing you. about Bakewell is all the little doggies. Look at him. Come on the right date, babe. Do you have a market? And the, oh, this bit here would no longer be a car park. It's actually the market. I think it's just on the weekend, like, you know, a normal market is. Please stop now filming. <laughs> stop just for us. It's so beautiful around here. Almost feels a bit like being at the seaside because of all the seagulls. Do you think so? There's loads of seagulls, yeah. They're after everyone's chips. Oh, the these buildings cream. over here. Beautiful. <laughs> that sound. Amazing. Nice. So if you've never been to Bakewell before, there's a big map here that shows you where everything is. <laughs> that wasn't as bad, though. Or you can actually buy one for a pound. I suppose it goes to help the tourist yeah. town council, yeah. Hmm. So I think at the top of where the, where's the, where's the hotel, there's a hmm. church. At the top of here, there's a museum. Hmm. Um, so obviously you can walk up and down the river. Um, Chatsworth House is back up this way. We're very close to Chatsworth House. Where have we parked here? Uh, yeah, I think we're here. Yes. Yeah, so it was £4.50 for four hours. Which I don't think it's bad. And then that old. Where was the. Uh... Oh, simple. <laughs> I think this is where the. Yeah, that's where the. Um, where we have dinner. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, the only toilets are here. I think you have to pay now. And there's some in here as well. Mm, no, but yeah. it's quite far from town. You have to pay for most peak district towns and yeah. villages for the toilets. Yeah. yeah. So I've just dropped the bake or pudding off at the car. Mm -hmm. it's just a, a bit awkward to carry. <laughs> it's a lovely day. I know, so nice. So really nice. now we're going to go look around some shops, uh, walk probably just around, see what there is. So, as you can see, this bridge has got loads of mud locks on it. There's loads. <laughs> so many. <laughs> but our friend put one on there, so we're going to go see if we can find it. But I think there's going to be a fair view to look through. So beautiful around here, though. Sunshine. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. So this is just next to the car park where we parked. <sighs> Just look at all these. Insane. Again, it's just so beautiful. Very busy. Finally found it. Fourth time looking. This one here. We were on go. totally the wrong side. That's why we couldn't find it. Good help. We found it. We had to get oh. uh, to text us. <laughs> yeah, to tell where it is. <laughs> we were looking on completely the wrong side. Yeah, yeah. I was convinced it was that side. <laughs> so as you can see now, there's, there's just hundreds. I think we just witnessed someone putting them on as well, actually. around here actually sell Blue John because it's from a um, cave um, locally. You can actually take a trip down one of the caves called Blue John Cave. It's about half an hour away from here. But yeah, this, this is one of the shops that sell it at Bakewell. I think these little windows are so cute. So if you can see me, all the little food bits in. Mm. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> we always know we're in Bakewell when we see these. That's so creepy. Look at this. Scary. <laughs> Don't know how puppets and things are best at times, but. Oh, look at us though. Looks very happy. These are so cute. Yeah, there's little babies on. Snooker playing one. I do like these. They are cute. Oh, we've got a little giraffe that's snuck in. He's like, you can't see me. <laughs> to I like be a dog. these. They're really cute. Hmm. So this is the back of the original pudding shop. Um, so we do have outdoor seating. Just not open at the minute. I don't think they expect it quite such nice weather. Hello, Polly. So if you are a fan of the Hotel Inspector, you may recognise this building, the Rutland Arms Hotel. Alex actually came here. Um, quite a few years ago now obviously I think it's changed hands um, but she was very fond of the little guy that ran it that's all I remember so I've currently stood in the bath garden so that's right next to the Rutland Arms Hotel really beautiful in here really well kept we've got a little memorial as they normally have a flag disappeared hmm. really pretty and they've got a little bowls pitch I'm watching. Lovely. Every time we're in Bakewell, even if we're just passing the car, I always just have a nose in the windows of the bridal shop. I mean, I don't need a dress because I'm married, but it's so cute to have a look. How cute that is. Mm -hmm. These buildings are very cute. So Best of Hardwick, um, this lady here, actually built Hardwick Hall, so the old and the new, and Chatsworth House, which we're really close to. Shops. Oh, it smells of incense in here. How lovely is this? So we've had some nice lunch. Yes. It's really nice. So bake or put in. Although it doesn't look much, it's amazing. It is incredible. You need so, to try it. Yeah. yeah. You need to just get a small one, yeah. have it warm, you won't regret it. I if think, you like sweet stuff. <laughs> yeah, the, it's very sweet. Yeah, it's nice. Far tastier than a bake or tart. Yes. But we'll so. meet trials and shops. Yeah. It's nice. We'll meet trial, don't we? And now we're going to Mont on Head. Yeah. It's so one of the best views in the Peak District. Yes. Of the viaduct, is it? Yeah, it's a viaduct, yeah. So we've arrived at Monsell Head. This is where we always park, street opposite the pub, well, hotel. Yeah, hotel. Just here. But it's free. And you have to pay for parking in other places, but the view. Just around this a little bit. It's amazing. And here is the view we've come to see.
So on top of a viaduct is a path called the Monster Trail and it goes all the way from Buxton to Bakewell. Obviously we're going to walk from here from Bakewell, um, but we didn't. We got the car. We got the car. <laughs> so it follows an old railway track yeah. that formed the Manchester Buckland, Buxton, Matlock and Midland Junction Railway. Yeah. It's a really nice walk. It's really flat. Dead easy. Some fantastic scenery. Yeah. Just imagine an old yeah. steam train billowing through here. Yeah. Just incredible, like Harry Potter scenes. Yeah. We have walked from across there before and then up this hill here. I can't really see it, but it's steep. So there's some lovely benches to sit on at the top there. And then the hotel. And then there's a pub here. Those people sit outside. And then normally in a hot day there's ice cream and stuff, but the cafe isn't open that owns it. Monster Trail to walk on is eight and a half miles. So we've been so flat about it doable. Oh no, that is it. That is the start. That's yeah, near so Boston. We have here, and then do, 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 all the way down. Yeah, yeah we've done walks around here, ties well. Yeah. Around the Cheedale. Yeah. Oh, that's that pretty pretty bit. Oh, what they're saying, like Harry Sorry. Potter. There we go. Steam train going over it. <laughs> So we've just been deciding what we want to do now. We either yeah. go home or we think we're going to go to Matlock. Yeah, we're going to Matlock on the way back. Yeah, so Where how is... far is it from here? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> about 20 minutes, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not far. But it's further away than that. Maybe yeah. about 20, 25 minutes. Huh. Yeah, it's on the way home. I grab some fish shining. and chips, go for a wander. Yeah. It's one of our traditions, that is yes. Matlock fish and chips. Normally this time of year we go to the fireworks and boat show, yeah. haven't we? But we haven't got any days off for no. it. Never mind. Next <laughs> Still year. go to Matlock. Oh, look at the sunshine. Ooh, like this. Look at the sunny. sunshine. Just uh, turn around and look at that. Oh. Oh, beautiful. So we've made it to Matlock, Bath. Yes, Matlock, Matlock Bath. Bath, not Matlock. Yeah, so there's, there's two parts. There's Matlock Bath, which is like being at the seaside. Yeah. And then Matlock, which is like vintage shops and yeah. bits and bobs out. Matlock Bath grew up around a spa, believe it or yeah. not. A uh, Victorian sort of, well, yeah, a Victorian yeah. holiday destination, that was didn't it. Didn't Queen Victoria build this to be like the seaside? Um, so she could visit? No, no, if you remember, she visited once and didn't want to come back. Oh. So that's something to so do with the Venetian story, Nights. <laughs> There's yeah. a bit of a story yeah. and we'll try and find it out and then we'll put it down below somewhere. Beautiful are these dahlias. These are like little fires. Beautiful. So we did a Google. We did a Google, yeah. And Mother had all the information now. So Queen Victoria <laughs> visited twice. 1836 as the princess and 1844 as the queen. Where she ascended the heights of Abraham on a donkey. Believe it or not. <laughs> so that's where those cable cars you've just seen go to. Um, and then that's why it grew in popularity oh, as a Victorian so holiday like destination. She did. I'm just trying to think the place she didn't like. It was oh, no. Bath. I think it was Bath. Oh, sorry, uh, the toilet. We just need a toilet, toilet and, and I think they closed. Oh. So Mallow Bath is known for its Isles of Abraham. Obviously you can get over there on these cable cars. We've got a cavern, which we have done before. Really good. And then at the top, the views. Really, really good views. Obviously you can walk to the top, but it is quite a walk. But we're hoping to come back one day and film it all because everywhere's closed at the minute it's getting a bit dark so at the top of there where the trees are you can just see the top of the cable cars that is where the arts of abraham are oh even and then whoo, sorry a really loud lorry went past and then um some cliffs up there we do see some people absolutely down there sometimes yeah you can walk over the top yeah it's but yeah so that's it i can't remember what the name was yeah amazing so we are going to walk down the River Derwent, down yes. what's called Lover's Walks. Ah. But it's because the shops are all down one end of the river, yeah. one side of the road. Yeah. So we're going to walk up the river, cross the bridge, back down the streets. And we might even see some of the illuminated boats. So every year they have, since the Victorian times, it's called Venetian Nights. Yeah. 
um, a like parade. Now. Yeah, it's a parade of illuminated boats. Yeah, the people who've made it is yeah, like a competition. competition. Yeah, they can win quite a good prize, yeah. and they put shows on every weekend, and there's fireworks in October. Not worth coming to. Yeah, I can. See. And one more thing, if you're into motorbikes and stuff, yeah, I, think it's, I don't know. Most what Sundays, day. Yeah. most Sundays, the road is just packed with motorbikes. Yeah. Yeah. And all sorts of different types. Just kind of know, a bit of meet up with that lobby again. <laughs> <laughs> so, this sign tells us a bit more about Lovers Walks, the oldest continuously used public pleasure ground in the country since 1742. So, before the Victorian times, like I said, obviously, this sign's been here for a long time because it's quite dirty. Defeated! <laughs> yeah, I U or something. But... Or you? <laughs> oh, or you, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so should be a nice walk with the sun setting. Up or down? Down. Let's go down. <laughs> if you said this for the start of the day, I'd have been like, let's go up. The river's just there. I want to walk along the river. Hmm. Bandstand, very pretty. And then across the river is loads of bridges, but not all of them are open. I think there's only like two out of about ten. It's open, isn't there? Yeah. Arcade. So this is one of them that's open. This is Jubilee Bridge and it's built in 1887. Pretty, pretty. Mm. Nice. Yeah. It's so pretty. You can definitely see why it's like a seaside feel. So in that building there is oh, the Victorian Baths. Yes. I love it in there though. Yeah, it's a couple of quid to get in. You get to the thermal baths are still there before the koi car. Yeah. Is that what I was just saying? That is the like aquarium in there? There is your traditional amusements in there as well, yes. your, yeah. your penny machines and well, stuff. The aquarium is so good, like it's very yeah. old fashioned, yeah. it's like £2.50 to get in, so it's well worth yeah. doing. And you can feed the fish. Yeah, and there's some other odd things, isn't there? Like some oh, yeah, them pa painting pictures. Weird pictures, pictures that are like yeah, 3D. Like around. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, it's good. just uh, three like random bits together, but for yeah. a couple of quid, it's yeah. not a bad little thing to do. Especially if it's raining. Yeah, we're a bit late for that now because obviously yeah. it's like 6 pm now. and. Oh, there is some bikes, look. Oh, yeah. We'll just show you. Here we all are. So when it's a busy bike day, the road all the way down is just covered in bikes. It's awesome, though. Wouldn't nice. you like to live up there? Yeah, it's a beautiful view. Lovers Kingdom's up there yes. as well. Yeah, it's just like behind your trees up there somewhere. Yeah, I think it's just for kids, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit, yeah, we like more families. What are you doing? Families, I don't know. <laughs> Comfy there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, what you like? <laughs> of all the times we've been to Matlock, yeah, we right. never knew this was here. How beautiful. Yeah, this little eatery city yeah. place. Really, really pretty. Yeah, I'm going to stand there. Oh, don't, I thought you saw me. Don't get me. Really pretty. Very nice to eat out there. <laughs> Yeah, Loving all the lights around here too, I bet it looks so pretty when it's dark. You can see them, they're not. Oh yeah. You can see them. It means the boats we were on about earlier. We'll go and have a look. So this is what it's called. It's great now though, isn't it? Yeah. We have like a fun fair. Oh, sorry. Yeah. A fun fair, you can just see it over there in the distance, I think. Oh yeah, there, look. Yeah, fun fair. Obviously loads of places to eat, you just do usual like burgers and stuff. Yeah, really nice. So these are the boats that are here this year. Can't quite figure out what one two are. That's the Ghostbusters. Robert thinks this is from Cars. It is, it's got eyes. It's Rusty's hmm. is from Pixar Cars. Okay, I've not seen it for so long, I can't remember. That's the Dan Busters. Mm -hmm. And then Bombers. Boat? Yeah, well I'm sure that's like a magnificent man in the flying machines. It's definitely one down. And then the carousel. Mm. So all of these will be lit up and we'll parade down the river, up and down great to see. We started them. The boats. The boat, the Verisha Nights for the Queen's visit because when she visited as a princess yeah. she remembered the lights yes. of Matlock Bath twinkling in the water. water reminded her of candles and hence they illuminated the boats with candles. Yes. I knew there was something to do with Queen Victoria. Yeah. I knew so it wasn't going crazy. she came for a visit as a Queen then they started yeah. this. It's been going every year so ever since. since. Did it go last year? I don't know. I think it... No, I don't no. think it did. 
so pretty. So we parked up here. Yeah. We've walked down here along the river hmm. up to the Dermot Gardens and we are <laughs> here. So, so as so you can see there's loads to do here. Gulliver's Kingdom, there's the mining museum. Yeah. There's obviously the where we talked yeah, about. Yeah, Ice Abraham. So considering it's just really a village, not yeah. really a town, there's loads. Really loads to do. Definitely a day's visit, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely, definitely need a day. You used to find loads to the kids. Yeah. <laughs> together, didn't we? Yeah. When we first started yeah. <laughs> Way back when. Way back when. <laughs> A lot of money to live up there, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Mm, roll on already. <laughs> so this is when the illuminations is on. Every Saturday and Sunday, 11th of September to 31st of October. That's quite impressive that under 16s are free. Yeah. Or it's like under two. Yeah. <laughs> You're an adult at three, isn't he? Really, really <laughs> <event. laughs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what dad always does. <laughs> this is where we eat fish and chips. Yeah. It's on the menu. That's a nice portion of fish and chips, that is, isn't it? <laughs> so we've eaten our fish and chips, and now we're going to end the vlog. It's getting dark, I'm going home now. And it's cold. It's Tell cold. autumn's on the way. So. I hope you've enjoyed following along on our day in the Peak District, exploring some of our favourite places. It's been a bit different, but... Yeah, a bit different to normal. Yeah, had a good day. It's been really nice and sunshine. Yeah. So if you have enjoyed our video, please like and comment down below and subscribe to get notified for more videos. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.